Happy Monday, everyone. We've got rain again. A couple of rounds of rainfall over the last couple of weeks. Now the one rolling on through, not to the amount that we saw that last Saturday. Some of us may remember, especially on the west side of the Cascades, but scattered showers still likely to continue tonight into tomorrow. So let's break it down by the headlines. Occasional showers likely to continue through about Tuesday, possibly Tuesday afternoon. Some of them even building up east of the Cascades. Some pretty decent amounts out towards the coast. A lot of areas seeing more than an inch, closer to about a quarter to a half of an inch for the West Valleys. We'll add a few, maybe a tenth of an inch or so east of the Cascades as we continue into tomorrow afternoon. Snow levels dropping as this moves on through. Still on the warm side, still a little early to see more widespread snow, but areas like Diamond Lake, Crater Lake, Siskiyou Summit even seeing some potential of more rainfall turning to snow late tonight into tomorrow morning. Freeze warning late Tuesday through Wednesday morning. The coolest day of the week likely Tuesday. Coolest morning of the week likely Wednesday. We're talking some areas as low as 20 degrees, especially east of the Cascades and in parts of Siskiyou County. We dry out and warm up as we head into the weekend. Some areas back to the mid to upper 80s by Saturday after a couple days in the 50s and 60s. Speaking of that, mainly in the 60s tomorrow with cloudy skies, rain continuing and some gusty winds. Gusts up to 40 to 30 to 40. 40 miles per hour possible, mostly cloudy, some showers to start, and then things will clear out later in the day with a bit of sunshine as we head into the afternoon Tuesday into Wednesday. For the West Valleys, cloudy tonight, showers continue through tomorrow morning, cloudy then clearing later in the day. Most of the showers will stay in the morning, but don't completely rule it out as we continue into the afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the 60s for an area that's usually in the upper 70s and 80s. And east of the Cascades, cloudy, showers, also some gusty winds, some areas up to 40 mile per hour gusts are possible tomorrow mostly cloudy early, then partly sunny by the afternoon. That'll warm you up into about the 40s and 50s, so not that much warmer. And because of that very cold Wednesday morning, also, as I mentioned, those snow levels starting at 6,500 feet, depending on when you're watching this in the afternoon and evening on Monday, and then dropping to around 5,000 feet on Tuesday. Diamond Lake, for example, is at about 5,200 feet. Could see about an inch of snowfall at the tippy tops of some of those mountains out there, including the Crater Lake Rim. In terms of the week ahead, most of the showers likely today, a little less likely tomorrow, and then we'll clear things out for the rest of the week. Just a bit of cloud cover Thursday night into Friday. There's a dry front moving on through, but that stays mainly to the north of us. For the Klamath Basin, also some showers mainly in the morning for your Tuesday. Very cold. Look at that. Down into the the 20s Wednesday morning and then warmer, sunnier, drier towards the weekend. Northern California, some showers in the morning tomorrow. That's about it. Temperatures warming up towards the weekend as well. Talking the 80s by Saturday and Sunday and for the coast. Few chances of showers out there Tuesday rain most likely, but then we go into Thursday and Friday. Just a slight chance mainly in Coos and Douglas County and then we'll clear things out by the weekend.